Hi everybody, this is a quick tour of level six in the silo. Level six is about 95 feet below the surface. A couple of warning signs right here. One says high pressure nitrogen stored in this area. This one's a little more cryptic if you don't kind of understand the, the lingo uh, here on the complex. This says, uh, do not transmit on the radio type maintenance net, that's RTMN, near the MSA platform. So what they're telling you here is don't use your walkie talkie too close to this equipment right here. Uh, MSA equipment is designed to sense the presence of fuel or oxidizer vapors in the launch duct or the silo. There are two cabinets. One is looking for fuel, one's looking for oxidizer. And all of these hoses here on the top go to different points in the silo and the, the launch duct and are actually sniffing for the presence of fuel or oxidizer vapors. It works with a reagent gaseous chemical, some big long inorganic chemical name I can never remember, that won't kill you, but it'll make you nauseous. And it tends to build up, tends to collect inside these cabinets. And so the, the caution is to open the door and stand clear for a couple minutes and let all that stuff waft away. There's some kind of cool sampling controls on the other side of the cabinets here. These are manual sample controls, so you can turn this dial to any level you want and it'll sample that point for you. Some cool indicator lights up here and down here are just some indicators and meters and, and what have you. It's a new uh, transformer. This operates the lights and the outlets in the silo, or at least, uh, yeah, most of the silo. This is a brand new one. This is the original. We had these replaced arbitrarily a couple of years ago because we thought if there was anything in the silo that was going to catch fire, it might be a transformer. So we had the electricians come out and put all new transformers in for us. There's a panel up here on the front of this platform. It's kind of not related to MSA or kind of tangentially related. This is an override panel for all the fans and blowers in the launch dock. I don't know if you saw our video on level five that we did recently, but you can take a look at that. One of the fans up there, EF-102, actually still works. Well, actually, we got it to work again because it's useful. And you can control it from right here, EF-102, right there. Turn the switch. And that's just one fan. So you can imagine how it must have sounded down here when the place was kind of running full tilt. This is a HS2. This is a hydraulic system responsible for working the work platforms, makes the work platforms go up and down. Just like the one up on level one, HS1, that works the silo door, it's just a lot smaller. It has just one accumulator right here and a small nitrogen receiver tank right back there. The hydraulic pump that charges it is right back here. And then uh, on the wall behind that is the foam tank. I don't know if you saw, our, again, saw our level five video, but on level five is where the diesel storage tank is for the emergency generator. And on the ceiling on level five, there's a shower head. If you have a fire breakout up there, you can flood the entire level with foam that'll put out the fire. And the foam comes from here. So how it works is if there's a water line that pumps water across this venturi that then sucks up the liquid in the tank and pipes it up to level five. So the trivia question here is, what's in the tank? And the answer is ox blood, real genuine ox blood. How it works is on a, it uses a protein in blood called albumin that you have in your blood also, but not to the same concentration that it's found in ox, apparently. And when you mix protein and water, it foams up. And so there's, there's your firefighting foam. Uh, crew people tell us that it smelled really bad and it was a really awful mess to clean up if it, if it ever had to be used. Down on level seven, there's a big dark stain on the wall that runs all the way down. You can't really see it from here from where the stuff slopped out of the tank over the years. So there's a quick overview of silo level six. Thanks for watching.